this video i'm going to show you how to enable modern grid control for any of your model driven app now i'm in one of the custom power apps which i have created so this is a simple power app what i've done is i have created one table called as world and it has countries capital account contact and some other fields now this particular uh, application is nothing but rendering of the table so i have this world table if i go inside one of the record it will show me this record now in this video i'm going to show you how to make use of the modern power apps grid control now if you closely watch this grid this grid has uh, a capability to select all the rows you can navigate to one of the row you can sort by a to z or z to a you can filter by some condition you can say if the filter contains bell then you can filter out the record you can clear out the filter and for the dates you can again filter by the dates and there are some other parameters for dates now if i add other columns to it like say population now this is a numeric column a number column and if i see this this population is uh, it's a number and you can sort by smaller to larger or larger to smaller so nothing else and in the bottom you can see the rows the number of rows for this particular record now let me save this as a new view and call it as so this is the old uh, i'd say it's it's still modern but uh, i would say if you want some more functionality then what you can do is uh, you can enable other power apps grid control now as you see over here in this three dots there is no option called as show as okay so the things which you are going to do now will allow you to view this grid in a different control now this control which we are seeing over here so let me show you this control will get replaced with something else which will have a much more functionality now in order to do that what you need to do is go into the settings go into advanced settings settings customization customize the system and navigate to the table so in my case the table is uh, within entities and the table name is called as world so this is the world table now if you see over here this is a world table let me maximize this here you will see a tab called as controls now by default all the things uh, which you saw over here uh, was rendered using this read only grid default control now if you want to add other control you can go ahead and click on add control and you can scroll from here and then here you will see a lot of other controls so here i can see there is a power apps grid control i'll add this and then there is an another control which is power apps read only grid and i can add this so now i have three different grids added i can say by default it renders in read only grid but i can make this as the default for web I can make this as a default for phone, but I'm not going to make those any changes. I'll just keep whatever is available as of now. So if you see here, this was already existing and this we just added. And let's see how this gets rendered within the interface. Now, remember when we add this, we add it at a table level. Okay, so we are at the table level. We are customizing the system. Once you're done with this, click on save. And once you save the record, you just need to publish it. So you can publish it twice uh, because sometimes it doesn't get published in one instance. So just to make sure that all the record gets published. So I've just published it and we can close this. Now let's go back into the power app and open the 
world's application just do a hard refresh maybe control r and here in this three dots how you can verify whether the changes have been affected or not you click on those three dots and here you will see an another option called a show as which was not visible earlier so now this particular grid is shown using something else okay so as you see over here when you say show as here there are three options read only grid power apps read only grid power apps one grid name so let's look into all those things so first let's go into power apps read only grid now in power apps read only grid this is like a bit of uh, not much advanced but uh, there are some additional functionality which you can see one is in the footer you will see that there's a, a row selector so if you want to you know, view the record starting with some characters so take for example if you click on n then it will show new zealand if you click on A, it will show Australia. If you click U, it will show USA, UAE. And if you click on all, then it will show you all the records. Here you will see uh, the record number out of, and here you will see a page as well. So in my case, there are less than 10 records or 10 records, but if it is more, then it will navigate to other pages. Now, if you see, nothing has changed from a filtering perspective so there is countries there is capital there is account there is contact created on so all those things are like again stock standard so there's nothing much going around here if you now change the control to show as there is a power apps one grid underscore name now here uh if i select some view so the view which i created i think let's go into g world view okay so now here what what has happened is there are many things which is happening in the back end so uh first thing you can adjust the column you can see the row selector you can see the rows you can see the paging as was it was available for the read only grid but addition to that you can see that anything which has a choice column and if it has color attached to it it will show in that color so this was not available earlier then you can see all this created by and the date column in a different color okay then in this country you can you get a functionality to group by as well so you can group by the countries you can group by the account you can group by the person so let's try out that if i click on countries and if i say group by then i can group by australia I can group by Germany, I can group by, so that basically you're grouping by say specific field that is country. Then let's group by capital. Now, if I group by capital, then that group by country disappears, right? So technically you can only group by one column. Okay. So you can't say you can group by country and by capital. You can only group by one column. And if I group by rating, it will show you something like this, blue, green, red, yellow. So blue has three items, green has two items, and red has one item in it. You can ungroup. You can group by status as well. So here all the records are of active status. So it doesn't really make much sense. Let me remove the status field. Say, just remove, I'll just ungroup. Now, over here, there are other things which you can do is if you see for accounts for contacts there is just filter by and sorting for denomination there is a group by but for a column which has numeric value in it like the population you can do something else you can sort by smaller to large uh, and large to smaller also you can look for total so if you want to see the total then you go to totals and click on sum the moment you do that you can see the sum over here so like this you can do various math like totals average so if you want to see the average if you want to see what was the minimum number if you want to see what was the maximum number and if you want to uh, just keep the sum okay so this is how you can play around with this now from a date perspective again you can group by date 
you can group by year, quarter, month, week. So if I group by week, then it will show you week wise how this record was created. So this is group by week on the created on week. And if I just remove this, if I go here, so let me group by maybe quarter. So if I group by quarter, it will show you group by quarter value and I can group by other parameters as well. Okay, so this is a nice bit of functionality which you can get uh, in the modern grid view. Now again, if you do not want this functionality, then you can switch back to the read-only grid or Power Apps grid control, and then you can revert back very easily to the other grids as well. So like this, if you want to make use of all the new control, new functionality for Power Apps grid, you can do those changes in the customization section. So that's it, folks. This is all about changing the Power Apps grid from the old interface to the new interface, which will give you an additional functionality of uh, row filter, uh, grouping, uh, uh, aggregation, uh, and a uh, lot of uh, filtering functionality for various data types like date, uh, choice column, and also you will be able to see the choice values as well. So as I showed you, uh, we have seen that if you go, if you show this as Power Apps grid control, then it will uh, revert back to the current grid. If you again go back and show Power Apps read-only grid, then you can change this view. So this option was not available earlier, but now as we have enabled multiple control against that grid, this option is currently made available. And then you can uh, switch and you can choose between various controls. So that's it folks. This is all about Power Apps grid control. Thanks for watching.